everybody, Michelle here with iBailey Technology Consulting, and today I'm going to show you how to make a standard field inside of Sage mandatory. For this video, I am using Sage version 2018, version 6.0, which was released in October of 2017. So if you are seeing this video and you don't have functionality and you want functionality, please let us know and we'd be happy to discuss all the cool new features available um, to you in this version. There may come a time when you need a field to be mandatory inside of Sage 100, but it's not a field that you've created. It's just one that comes standard out of the box. So for example, if we look at vendor maintenance, maybe this reference field right here is something internally that you use uh, for an account number that they've provided you, or maybe it's to categorize vendors and you need that populated for every vendor and your clerks are consistently forgetting to populate it. Even though this is a field that Sage has provided us, we can still make it mandatory. So in order to do that, you do need the custom office module. If you don't have that, reach out to your uh, iBailey client success manager and we can get that process started for you. It's not super expensive and it doesn't take very long. Inside of our custom office module, we've got user defined field and table maintenance. For those of you that have uh, used Customizer before, this is the same location that you add your own user defined fields, but we're gonna go about it a little bit differently. These are the modules, as you can see, accounts payable, general ledger, payroll, and so I can double click on the module and then I get the tables that exist within that module. And so sometimes this is the hardest part is identifying what table you need to access, but a quick email to your consultant or even a Google search um, can oftentimes help you out with that. Um, so I'm going to scroll down because I know that I need the AP Vendor Master table. So that's right here. Uh, I can right click on this field and for those of you again that are familiar, edit fields is where you're going to add your own user defined fields, uh, but advanced field settings is what we want in order to change a Sage field. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then I get this pop up. And over on the right, I have a plus sign, which is where I can add changes. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then in this drop down, as you can see, I get all of the fields that are available to me in this AP Vendor Master table. This one, fortunately, is alphabetical, so I can scroll down. There's my reference field that we saw in Vendor Master or in Vendor Maintenance. If I click that, here you can see, do I want to make it mandatory for all users? Maybe just one user? Do I want to make it mandatory for all companies or just one company? So for this example, we'll do all companies, all users. And then I have this field uh, right here, this little radio checkbox that I can use to make it required. And that's it. So if I go ahead and click OK from here, that field is required and now I won't be able to save a vendor record until I've populated that field. So to explain just a little bit more about the additional options here, you can assign a default value if you want. So if that default value, if you wanted to categorize it, it could be um, like an A vendor or a B vendor. It could be um, a local vendor or an international vendor. I could assign that default value there if I wanted to. Additionally, I can have it validate. So if my AP clerks are typing something in and it doesn't match something, uh, maybe I'm doing like a list and I've got those um, those categories, vendor category A, B, C, that kind of thing, if they tried to type in vendor category R, it would pop up and say, that's not acceptable. Um, for this one, we're just going to go ahead and, and leave it at none, but you do have some validations there. Say OK, and there is my reference, and you can see right from this screen, I can see it's for all users and all companies. So if I had specific users that were constantly forgetting, I could make it mandatory for just one user. And then when that user finally remembers, then I could come in here and just delete it with the X or I can edit it. We're going to go ahead and close that and close out of Customizer. And now if we go back into Accounts Payable, Vendor Maintenance, and even on existing records, if I try and make a change um, and save it, Oops, pardon me. If I try and make a change, let's make a change and save it. 
it's going to tell me that the vendor reference number is required. So now I can type in that maybe it's an A client and our account number is 12345. And it'll let me save it through. And that's it. That's how you make a standard field mandatory inside of Sage 100. As always, if you have any questions, our team is here to help. Click the link below to get in touch.